He is a brewery owner, a financial advisor, a registered nurse, and now police say that very same Carrollton man is a killer. Steve Pickett has details. Keith Ashley, the owner and founder of a North Texas brewery based in Allen, a known financial advisor handling the investments of others, now sits in custody not only on federal fraud counts. Carrollton police allege Ashley is a murderer based on the death of this man. Jim Segan's death was originally cited as a suicide. Segan was found in his Carrollton home last February. His family, however, never believed he took his own life. They were incredulous that he would have taken his own life, um, and, and, and they were right. In a released arrest affidavit, Carrollton detectives say Keith Ashley, Segan's friend and financial advisor, was seen on doorbell video entering Segan's house the morning of the death. A typed suicide note included Keith Ashley as the person to help Segan's wife. Investigators, according to the warrant, found evidence of Ashley defrauding nine people of close to $2 million in a Ponzi scheme and a $2 million life insurance policy for Jim Segan listed Ashley as the trustee. Police say this was no suicide. At the root of this, um, the, the motive was money. The motive was this man had gotten hit these people's trust, and specifically in our case, Mr. Segan's trust, and was able to gain control of his accounts and his finances, and was able to steal from him. And then ultimately, he, um, he, he took it to the extreme of murder to gain complete control of his finances. Jim Segan inside his home back in February had a gun in his left hand and that suicide note to the right. His wife, police tell us, always had a suspicion and they followed that suspicion. And here we are 10 months later with a man they called friend as a murder suspect. In Carrollton, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.